Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. We are back again. We are back again for another live episode. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm looking forward to talk to you, answering your questions. Okay, let me connect here my computer and be in a position to answer any question you have. And today's session is all about, uh, okay, cartoons. You say, hi, hi, how are you? Uh, as I put on the title, uh, this live vlog is questions and answers on green card. People have to know about green card. Uh, Faris Faris, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm here to answer specific questions about green card in the United States of America. So let's do this. Let's do this, everyone. Let's do this, everyone. Uh, I'm here, as I said, to answer all those questions. So if you have any question uh, with regard to green card, lottery, green card, where you can get a green card, what is green card? Anything you want to know about the green card, this is Ernest Bonfas Makulelo EBM and EBM from EBM Scholars. Before we start, I ask you to be able to subscribe to the channel and we can be able to answer those questions. So let me start with the cartoons. You say I'm from Sri Lanka. Yes, yeah, so how are you, sir? I'm um, okay. Let's go to the first question is from Ravi. Uh, Ravi asking how did how did the EDV lottery have been selected? How the winners in general of the green card lottery are selected? As I was been explaining, and there is one specific uh, I can find uh, that particular video uh, about green card, and I can be able to pinpoint how the winners uh, of green card are selected. So there are. The one of the way on how green card lottery winners are selected is one each region or when applicants are going to apply after ending of the application, then our applicants are divided into major six region. By this region, we mean there is Africa, Asia, Oceania, North America, or whatever Latin America. So there are those kind of region, and each region is given specific. Uh, is given specific uh what specific uh percentage africa usually gets higher percentage than any other region and uh, for that case africa gets nearby uh nearby 40 to 45 percent uh, of winners are coming from africa so that's number one after that uh then you go to uh people who uh, already meet the qualification, didn't do any uh, technical mistakes. By technical mistakes, I mean people you didn't apply twice, you didn't do the double du uh, duplicate application. When they say white background, you put the white background. Things of that nature, just the basic one. So those are the things they are going. Then they are going to do the... Uh, they are going to do the... Uh, the the computer generated so is a random so all people from Africa when I'm saying if people from Africa the citizens of countries in Africa citizens of countries in Asia so they do not care where you live but your nationality your citizenship is the one which makes you eligible so if you are from Ghana if you are from Kenya but you live in US you are still a citizen of Ghana, so you are up, up, uh, you are your eligibility is still from Africa, so you are put in the pool of Africa, and all people in Africa are in one pool. Then the computer is going to randomly generate the winners. So if Africa is okay, you are told you have to produce maybe twenty thousand winners. For instance, you will produce twenty thousand winners from Africa out of the 50, 55,000 people. So those winners then they will go to be notified in that way. I don't know if that. Uh, will be able to uh, to explain what it means, but that is overall. Uh, I'm looking at the same time while I'm looking here. I'm just looking for uh, the video uh, how Green Card Lottery winners are selected. I think we have that video uh, somewhere here. I did that video so that people can understand uh, 
how green card lottery winners are selected and that will be able to help you uh when you are going to apply so i'm looking for that video and i'm going to put on the on on the, on the link here uh so that you can be able to get that one okay so i'm looking uh okay let me find it i don't know it is just sometimes uh i have a lot of videos about green card in terms of how uh, lottery winners are selected and even some interviews of uh i remember i put this video it was uh okay yeah i got it that is the video uh okay so i'm going to post the video uh, the link here which uh how lottery winners are selected so this one provides uh details specific on what goes uh step by step on how they are going to uh winners are going to be selected sorry it took a little bit longer because but i wanted to get some uh example specific links on that way so when random winners from each region as i said africa gets higher percentage compared to any other region of africa i mean other region followed by asia they, i mean followed by europe then followed by asia uh things of that nature uh Europe, then Asia, things of that nature. Okay, another question. Uh, Faris, Faris, you are asking the question, once has been selected, how much minimum amount someone ha needs to have in order to be there? So, your question wants to know how much money you need to have in order to come here. So, this question has nothing to do with starting living in america so i'm going to answer the question about how much you needed to have to start your journey from after winning procedures until to be here so number one thing is after winning you always go to fill the form we call dsc 260 which is the form which will be end up going to be called to do the visa interview so and let's say when you are single, it's different from you when you, when you, are, you have a spouse. And it's also different when you have a spouse, you have one child or two children, and go on. But I'm giving you just the estimates as if you are single, and you can be adding the numbers if you have more than one person you are coming along here in the U.S. So if you are single, uh, the first amount is the visa fee. Visa fee is 330 So if you, you have spouse, you are married, you just add three so if for each person if you you have two kids you add again for each person will be paying the same amount of visa fee so that's number one 330 uh, i can just keep uh writing here down like so okay so the first one is uh 330 this is a fee visa fee then there is between 300 to 500 us dollar and all the estimates i'm putting in us dollar this is a medical fee medical fee uh so you are not going just to any doctor you want there are specific doctors in your country who are recommended by the u.s embassy in your country so when you get the invitation letter to go to the interview Plus, the more information from your from the embassy in your country, they will tell you exactly which doctors you have to go. So, okay, that is medical. So, if you have more than one person, also the medical, the, it goes higher. Like if you have two people, that means it would be around six, seven hundred, whatever. So, things of that nature. Then there is uh, what we call the policy clearance record. So, depends country to country certain country is free certain country you have to pay but if you have to pay in most cases that is just about ten dollars so it's not a lot it's not expensive there is no country that will tell you pay fifty dollar or hundred dollar no most countries just five free ten dollar maximum then after after getting the visa either before you travel to come to america or as soon after arriving in america there is another fee is called the 210 210 uh, dollar fee so these people they call the actual green card visa fee but is kind of they call it service s e v i s which you have to pay this amount so if you add this one so it will be like nearby 600 like almost like in eight to 900 you need to have then this one does it include the this one doesn't include your flight ticket 
So those are the things uh, I want just to mention. It will not include your flight ticket. No one pays for your flight ticket. No one pays you. Okay, can we? Can the U.S. government give me the free housing? Can they give me free job? No. So I just want to put it there from the uh, from the beginning. Okay, so I'm sure I have been able to answer your question correctly, uh, Faris. Faris. So let's go to Big Jeff TV. You say hello, hello to you too. Okay, uh, Abzarak. Uh, take note, uh, no country can get more than 7% on uh, general DV lottery quota. Yes, you are correct. They limit because, for instance, uh, Ghana alone is the country with so many applicants than most of the countries. They have Last year, they had 1.2 million applicants, just Ghana alone. So they cannot take 50,000 winners from one country. Yes, the country with, with so many uh, winners... Uh, is Egypt, I think, number one, is nearby 4,000, whatever. Then there is the Democratic Republic of Congo. Then there is Ghana. So those are the countries with so many uh, winners, uh, yes. So thank you for clarifying that, uh, uh, Abzarak. Derek A, I played in lottery this year as a married. Meanwhile, at the moment, I'm not. That is a very big mistake. I never do that again. From the beginning, just be truthful. If you are married, put you are married. If you are not, don't put you are married. Don't try to 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 trick the system because if you win, you have to produce the marriage certificate. That's what you have to know. But planning to get married next year. So remember, for instance, if you die today, you are not married today as a single. So don't put the plan because I'm planning to get married today, next year, and next year I'll be going to America. So let me put already I'm married. No, if you have a fiance, you are you are engaged. You are not married. Just remember that. You are married until you are getting married. Even if one hour before, two minutes before, you take the oath of marriage, you are still single because you can change your mind and change everything. So don't again do that. Yes, you say it will, have, will be a problem. Yes, there will be a problem. Because you have to show a marriage certificate, a marriage certificate showing that you are married on the the marriage certificate has to show that you have been married before even you applied. That you have to know. I have, let me find that letter. Uh, there is one thing which is more like instruction. Uh, I can just give you, I don't know if I still have that one. Uh, it's more instructions about the green card lottery. I don't know if I have that paper here. Uh, sorry. Uh Okay. It's not this one, but there is one paper I had, I did a presentation about green card lottery a couple of days ago. Uh, what are the things uh, which will make someone, despite of winning and not coming to America? One of the mistakes people are doing is about feeling a fake, a wrong person uh, to come to America while you are not. So that is one of the reason you'll be denied your visa so sorry i'm just looking for this doc uh uh i don't know if i have it here but i believe i might have so i can just quickly go through if i have uh that document i'm sorry everyone uh i want to make sure that i have this document i just because i did this video uh, a couple days ago uh okay so i don't think if okay not uh, not this one but this i will use this one okay so sorry guys uh and i didn't think that someone will ask this question so but if i don't find it the easiest way for me will be just to put a link of that video I did uh, a couple of days ago, uh, which is explaining that when you win, what things will be uh, is a mistake and cause you not to be given the visa. Uh, okay, I can just give a quick... Uh, I can just give... Okay, I have the document here, yes. I have here. I'm going to read that one uh, about marriage. So the reason I'm, I'm going, I'm taking that seriously and ask, uh, taking more notes uh, is this way. Here I have the list, 
this is for the V207. Uh, so if, I don't know if you can be able to look on, uh, okay, if, if I can do this way, I think you can see. So this is from the official website of the DV lottery, uh, the DV, the government. It shows the list of countries uh, which have won. So we are starting with Africa. So I'm giving just a simple example. You can see Africa, we start with Algeria. So uh, in 2017, the winners was 1,561. And this one, and then we followed by Angola, there were 80 people, then Benin were 617. So these are the list of winners, like the number of winners. And then, okay, this is the actual number. This is the actual number of people who were given the visa in that year. So we started with the 2008 to 2017. So I just want to just focus. So these are the actual visas people were given. So if you look on the first country is Algeria. I said, or if you look here, Algeria, the number of winners was 1,561. But see, on the same year, 2007, how many people got the visa was 996. So out of 1,600, almost 600, all nine, I mean 900, less than 1,000 were given the visas. So like other people didn't get the visa. Uh, you see, Angola, for instance, uh, in that year, 80 people won, 80 people won from Angola. You can see the number. The second country, 80 people won in 2017. But if you look, how many people, 12 people out of 80 people got the visa. I'm looking for the last column here. This is the actual also uh, information which is on the website showing you people who were actually given the visa. So the point is why other people don't get the visa despite of winning green card lottery. So here's the reason. I'm going to read also from the government, the US government instructions about the green card lottery uh, instructions. Let me read about the marriage part and how it can affect you. And that's why I tell people, don't do any mistake. So I'll go and read this one. Uh, sorry, I'm taking longer time, but this is a very important question to avoid mistakes people have to avoid in the, in the future. Item number 15, it says, what family members must I include in my DV lottery, or my DV entry? Let's talk about spouse only for at the moment. If you are legally married, don't assume I'm staying with a person for 50 years, so this is my wife. We don't care about the local law in your country. We are talking about the U.S. law to come to America. You must be legally married. You must list your spouse regardless of whether he or she lives with you or intends to immigrate with you to the United States of America. So number one, you must be legally married. You must list your spouse even if you are currently you are currently are separated from him or her unless you are legally separated. So if you tell go and stay to your home, if you, it's just informal, you have to list that. But if the court mandates you have to separate, that you cannot not you don't need to list that person. Okay, if you and your spouse are legally separated, you will not be able to immigrate with your spouse to the United States through legal uh, lottery. If you are legally, by legally, you must be given by the court order. Legal separation is an arrangement where a couple remain married but live apart following the court order. But if you just, you caught you or someone is cheating or you have disagreement, just go and stay to your house, just informally, you go bring some two people from your, uh, from your family and you make that decision, that is not caught. So you'll put someone in the document and you must be legally married. By legal marriage, you must have a legal certificate of marriage. So another thing about if you are, got, you are putting someone who is not your wife, if you are not married, so this is what happens. Okay, if you are not legally, oh, not that one, okay. Failure to list your eligible spouses. If you are married and you are putting you are single, or if you are single, you put as married. So if you, you fail to put your eligible spouse, or listing someone who is not your spouse. So because you are not married, on the day you are applying, you are not legally married, and you decide to put someone as your wife, technically, Listing someone else who is not your wife 
is a ground is a grounds for disqualification. Your entry, okay, this is for COVID. If you are not intent, if you are not married at the time of entry, but planning to get married in future, do not list a person as a spouse on your entry. Because we are not talking about the future, we are talking on the actual day of application. So I cannot say, oh, because I'm planning next year to become, to go and to do, uh, to graduate, to become PhD holder. From today, I'm calling myself Dr. So and so. No, you are not. If is today, for instance, is December 20, 31st, midnight before exactly going to 2020. If you, you passes away today, you didn't pass away in the year 2020. You passed in the year 2019. So we are not talking about the future. We are talking on the day of, of, of applying. So don't say, okay, but my child, uh, my wife is pregnant, but the baby will be born next year. We don't care about next year, first of all. We are dealing at today, the day we apply. So don't inter put someone who is not your wife, oh, I'm planning to get married. We are not talking about the future. So that is the one of the grounds for disqualification in the future. So never do that. That's why I'm going to write a book. I've been written a book. Uh, which is this one, if you can see, is called What It Takes to Win Green Card Lottery. So these are some of the mistakes people are doing uh, not to list someone. The only thing you don't need to add the photo and all other things is if your spouse is a green card holder or a US citizen. So even if you don't add that person, it doesn't affect you. Sorry, I used a, uh, a lot of time to answer that question. But also, uh, I can. Uh, I'm going to... Put the link about uh, winning green card lottery is not a guarantee for you uh, to uh, to uh, okay. What things will make you not win or not be given green card visa despite of winning? So this is the video. I have explained all these factors. Despite of winning, they will make you not get the car, the, not get the, the the visa. So that is the other question I was trying to answer. So sorry, I took longer time on that one. Okay, let me go to another question. Ravi, you say, okay, thanks for your explanation about how the lottery uh, winners are selected. One more question, brother. I'm from Nepal. My question is, uh, from this year in Nepal, what? we must submit passport numbers why okay the reason why they put the passport requirement is let me give the example with the social media i can go there and i cannot I'll just google your name and get ernest bonifas makurilo birthday and get there born in tanzania for instance i'm giving example so someone can steal your identity quick and go into lottery and put your application or you can go into social media and just oh just go into with you five fake names Put Ernest Bonfast Makulilo is one person and put another wherever, like Ernest John Bonfast, another name. So you can create even five application, five profile over there. So if one profile wins, it is easy in developing countries to make the forgery of all the documents from birth certificate up to the passport and come here to US, you can claim I'm this person and win here. But with the passport requirement, you cannot have two passports. Or many people, they don't post the passport page with their bio page, with passport number, expiring date, all those information on social media. So that way it will be limiting someone to make a duplicate application with a fake two names. So if you want to put another fake name, so create also a passport in advance, which you cannot be able to do that. So the aim is to limit people who usually make a forgery but putting different names. They wait if you win, they can go and take create another identity to come here. Or someone can just go there and look Ernest Bonifas Makulilo and oh this name they can apply for you just in case. And if you win, they can tell you, okay, they scam you, give me the money, I give you the case number. If you don't, I'm not giving you the case number. Or they apply for you. If you win, they are going to forge document to steal your identity and they try to come here as you. So all those is to protect someone. I know it has affected so many people in the application for the lottery this year. But the, that requirement doesn't go away. It will continue to be there. So in case you didn't apply because of the lottery, uh, the green uh, passport requirement, make sure that you are going to back to answer uh, uh, to get the, the to get to get the the passport. 
Okay, uh, Katuni were asking, can you uh, upload a video for Asian people about uh, the ways to come to America? It doesn't matter whether you are from Asia, it doesn't matter whether you are from Europe, it doesn't matter whether you are from Africa, the ways are the same. The requirements don't change because you are from Asia or from Africa. So when I write a book, for instance, a PhD scholarship for Africans to come to America, they are the same procedures from developing country to come here. You are supposed to apply for school, will be the same requirement. Take a GRI, take English proficiency test, apply this way. The procedure don't change. If you are coming as a tourist visitor, what are the requirements to get the invitation letter? Those requirements don't change. Whether you are from Asia, you are Latin America, whether you are from Africa, are the same procedures. The only thing would be if you're coming from Europe to America, there are certain requirements might not they might quickly change because there are it's easier from if you're from Europe to come to America. Yes, procedure will be you have to get a visa and all other things, but they don't question too much on certain requirements. Certain some of the countries in Europe they have visa waiver for for, for instance uh, Netherlands and the US. You can come here within you can stay 90 days without requiring the visa. You just show up and go. So there are all those kind of things uh they can be happening. Okay. Uh, smile for labs. Uh, hi, EBM. What happens if you have a child soon before your interview date? What you do is, if you have already feel before you fill the DSC 260, you are supposed to go and put the information of the child born after application, day you applied. If you got married after the, the day you applied, so, and before the results when they are out, you are going to fill the DSC 260, which is the form you'll be going to the visa interview. You are going to do that. In case you have already filled the DSC 260 and your child is born while you are waiting to go to the visa interview, you write it to the KCC. KCC is the people who are in charge of the lottery, the department which is in charge. It is in Kentucky. So, what do you do? You write to them, like, can you unlock my... Uh, DSC 260, so that I can add my child who is born on this date. You can attach the birth certificate and the passport for your child, and to prove that the child was born after you submitted that one, they will unlock, then you can add your child, and you can go to the interview, and you can come with your child to the United States of America. Okay? Let me have some little bit of water. It's very early in the morning now. It is 7 a.m. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let's go to another question. Okay, continue about example having already submitted the US 260 medicals and boom, you have a baby week before the interview. Yes, that is what you do. Uh, and even if after the interview, you can request, you can talk to the embassy, they can do a procedure on how you can come, uh, the, your child also get the green card uh, before. Yeah. Or you can also ask, for instance, you know, for instance, your interview, for instance, let's say, uh, is one, let's say the interview is within next two weeks is the interview and the due date is before the two weeks, like very soon. So you can request the embassy to postpone your interview for one month later to wait for the child to be born. You, they can do that because people can reschedule you for the interview. It's not like the day they ask you for the interview is complete, you cannot change, no. You can ask that I'm, uh, because my child will be born, so can I wait for my child to be born and then I can do that? So they can give estimate and then you can change another date to get the visa interview. Okay, Afu Opoku. Uh, I'm in the final year of medical student uh, in China and with three kids. Uh, though yet to get my degree, but indicated the education certificate is degree. Will this be a problem? Uh, not much of the problem. But next time, what you need to, ch to choose on education, there is what they call some college courses. Some college courses, that means you are currently university student, bachelor degree. If you are in master's degree or PhD, they put in some graduate courses. So because you haven't graduated yet, it's not much a big, big of the deal, uh, education-wise. That is a different if you put that you are married while you are not. It's different to say, I don't have a kid while you have a kid. Those are different when it comes to education. Those are not a big deal. Uh, Alfayo Obare, if I don't have enough money 
Can I postpone my green card until I get the money? You can postpone the visa interview. You can ask for the visa interview, or for instance, no, instead of January to be in March. I have a specific case of, of someone uh, I've been I've been helping the person from editing the photo after winning all those ones. So the interview was supposed to be this December, but he didn't have enough money for the medical. So asking you write the to the to the to the embassy in your country can i change maybe one month later two months later to have the visa interview but they cannot change okay because i'm we i won for the dv 2020 can i came uh, can i decide to go to the visa interview in the year 2022 no you must come you can postpone the visa interview within the calendar year of that lottery so you cannot postpone it three years later no they don't do that Okay, uh, Afu Opoku will say, my family picture submitted to me for the application wasn't as clear as mine. Will this affect our application, though my own was very clear? No, it will not affect. It will not affect it. They don't want to be the picture to be so much perfect from the studio, no, it's okay. Hello, EBM, how are you today? That is from ZK Gomda. I'm doing very fine. Uh, thank you for asking and welcome to the EBM family. Welcome to the EBM scholars. And I really appreciate for taking time. It's weekend to be uh, online now and asking this kind of question. I appreciate everyone who is online and people have been commenting, people asking this kind of question. People have been here for, for a long time to make sure that they get knowledge about things I know. I'm not expert but I'm trying to answer all these questions and I'm happy people are trusting me on that. So another question is uh, uh, Smile for Labs. After winning the V2021 uh, with God's grace and all the best on that, I'm looking forward to meet EBM and being one among the people on your show in the future. I'll be so much happy to welcome here and to be able to interview. And even if, let's say, we live in different states, I can we can be able to do a Skype call. I can be able to guide you. I can be able to do the interview if you want me to share. Usually, I have to ask permission of people. Should I share something? Usually, I don't just share here. If you want me to share even your name, I can do it for I, we can talk without having the name. I can be able also to do that. So thank you. Uh Derek A, thank you for the clarification. I'm grateful. You are so welcome. And I'm grateful to you too for being here. My kids are still sleeping 7 a.m. here. It's Saturday. Yeah, so December 14th. So I'm sure I'll be able to have more time before they wake up because if they wake up, they'll be busy and I have to be able to help uh, you know at uh, uh, parents duty Zaki you have another question oh no I don't know Z Z K Z K Z K Z K Gomda my passport was about to expire when I was going to register I want to know whether it's okay yes it is okay as long as the day you are applying your passport was valid it was not expired it's okay uh when you win you, you, when you are going to renew your passport, your passport usually can continue to have it. So you go with both passport and expired passport and the newer passport and you show, okay, when I applied, I use this passport, but this is my new passport, which I'll use to travel. Even if you are not, uh, is expired because almost like people from East Africa, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, uh, South Sudan, Rwanda, all those people, now they have what you call East African passport. So all the passport, they are going to expire in January, regardless of 10 years, whatever. So all those passports will be expired. They have to get the new passport. So there is no problem at all. Eunice Mwikali, good morning, EBM, good morning or good afternoon to you. I don't know from which country you are, so probably you might be afternoon or some places, good evening. So thank you. Sophia Sharif Hassan, okay, your question is, how about if I win Green Card Lottery and I don't have relative there, I have to come there? Is hard to come there? No, it's not that hard. You don't need to have a relative to come to America. I didn't come to America. I didn't know anybody when I was coming to America, but, yeah, but I had a scholarship. How to start the life. What? You, yes, you need to have money to start. You can find someone... Uh, to host you even for a month where you can start. Or you can find someone, okay, 
I, I want you to be my host. I can arrive on you. I'll be paying you with the rent at least for the first two months, maybe 500. So you have you need to have a place to uh, arrive because you cannot just have a contract of the apartment. All this complicated before you come. It's very expensive. But you can find someone to host you at least for starting up at least for a month, a two months, then things you can continue on your own. I don't want to make sure that, okay, it is impossible to start life here. No. I came here, I didn't know anybody. But today, 12 years I've been in the US and life still continues. Okay, Michael Yebo, uh, Yeboa. Go, God bless you. So thank you so much and God bless you too. Uh, okay, let me go to uh, Abdel Razig Adam, can I travel without passport? Is I'm a refugee and I have only the refugee card, not a passport. I'm not so sure, but what I know, you must have a passport. Uh, I don't know if you can travel with a refugee card if you win the green card lottery. I don't think so. What you can do, you can get passport from you. For instance, let's say you are from Burundi. You are a refugee in South Africa. You can apply a passport as Burundian in Burundi, Burundi, uh, Burundi uh, embassy in you, the country in South Africa. So it will take longer, but you can you get still a passport. So being a refugee, that means you live in another country. If your country has the country of origin has uh, what consulate has uh, embassy, you can get the passport. It will be a longer process, but you still can get the passport. But I don't know if you can be allowed to come here direct as a refugee. Uh, because you came as a lot, I'm not so sure. So don't continue on that one. It might be possible if you have the documentation to prove that you are a refugee and all other things, they might allow you. I'm not so sure on that. Okay. Uh... I don't know, uh, Tuom Ernest, we have the same name, okay. Uh, first of all, let me start with the uh, cartoon. First of all, you say, as I told you, I'm not dreaming about the lottery, but I did it. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, you say, good morning, sir. Good morning or good afternoon to you there. Thank you for being here and watching here and being participant uh, into this live session about questions and answers about green card in America. Okay, Jacqueline, okay, sir, if I win the lottery and I don't have enough money to go together with my daughter, for how long will I stay in the U.S. before I file for my daughter to join me in the U.S.? This is, listen to me very careful. When you win, I tell people, do whatever it takes. If you have farms, sell them. If you have anything, sell even your clothing, sell your computer, sell your cell phone, get the money to come together. You have to go together to get that passport together and visa at the embassy. If you don't go with your child, you come alone here. You cannot bring your child to get a green card. You cannot bring your husband to get a green card. Because green card holder to petition to file for someone, the husband, wife, children to come to America, it will take those people to get it after almost five years and above. If you ask for a lot, you will be asking for a tourist visa, not a green card, because you are not an American citizen. So the best way, if you, you have iPhone, you have Android, you have whatever those Samsung, sell your phone, sell your clothing, sell the farm you have, go and get the loan from Sarkos, get the loan from the bank, put collateral, whatever it takes, get the money from the entire community, go and come together right away. Because if you come together, at that time, you have the only chance of all being given a green card at the same time. And if you know for sure it is difficult to survive in the U.S., come together here. Stay one month together. You get the actual card after arriving here. You can One can go back. You can take your child back in Africa to stay there while you are settling yourself in America. Because after getting the visa, you have six months, the person to arrive in America. If the person doesn't arrive in America, after six months, that green card, that visa is going to expire. It's bye-bye. So you can come alone, but you can bring the person. But the person must have the visa already on hand. You can go back and bring the person within six months. But better way, just come together, get the documentation get the actual card and the person can go back to the country and settle get settled while you can bring your child later 
Okay, another question is from Unisim Wikali. Unisim say forms a green card and uh, DSC260 during interview. Okay, the question is asking you, is mixing both English and Swahili, but is asking, are the form for green card lottery, are they for the same form for the, the are the same form DSC2, are the same form for DSC260 for the interview? When we say the uh, visa lottery, those are the lottery when you applied in October. The form you filled, just your name, date of birth, marital status, whatever, th that is not the DSC 260. After winning, there is a very long form. The form, when you say, I, I have a degree, it will tell you, tell the name of the university you want to study, from which year to which year, what degree program did you study. You went to high school, which high school, which region, from which year. That will go specific. You say I have two years of work experience. Where do you work? Oh, where did you work? Even if it was a voluntary work, even if it was internship and paid, that will be answering those ones. So DS260 is the form you are going to fill to go to the interview. So it's a different form from the lottery form you filled. ZK God, uh, Gom, Gomda. EBM, can you show us how to feed the DSC 260 from Ghana? You are from Ghana. Yes, that is a very, very good question. I haven't done the form, how to fill the DSC 260 form. I think that will be the video to do. And let me take a note on my notebook uh, because I'm uh, putting in some of the notes here. Uh, what, kind, uh, what kind of things, what kind of topics or video uh, I have to put. So, uh, DSC 260. Uh, video how to feel thank you for that i will make sure that i i do that or on one of my video so that people can know how to fill that form uh, obviously you must have the passport in order to fill that form yeah and on that form that form you can fill the form you can save don't submit you can come later next week continue it is different from the actual lottery form where you cannot save so you don't need to fill everything at once okay uh someone michael uh uh michael you ask ebm can i get your number because after winning i will need your support no worry uh my number in some of the videos i've already put there but i put in my email you can email me i can send you I, I can send you my number on my email so sometimes when you put uh you put the number it sometimes yeah so if you can email there i send my email on comment ebi makulilo uh you can email me i can give you the number but don't call just send a whatsapp message many people they get confused they call so you with the time difference, with the job descriptions. Like, I, I'm very, very busy. I go to work full-time. I do YouTube now full-time. I'm a parent full-time. I'm a husband full-time. So all, there are so many things. I'm book writer full-time. I'm writing three books per year. So you, you see what you can do. Yeah. Okay, another question comes from... Okay, uh, from Henry Golek. Hi, sir. I'm working on board a ship in Dubai, but I'm Ghanaian. Please, can I take the interview in Dubai or Ghana? It is your choice. You can choose. Do you want to take your interview in Ghana or in Dubai? So when you fill the DS260, you will indicate where or which country you want to take the interview. So if you want to do in Dubai, you can do in Dubai. If you want to do in Ghana, you have to do in Ghana. But remember, if you are married, for instance, you are in Dubai right now, but your family is in Ghana, you have won. If you say you'll be doing interview in Dubai, on the interview date, you have to be with your family, your spouse and the kids. So obviously they have to come there. So if you think about how it will be cheaper for you to travel there, so consider that to go back to your home country and do the interview if you have a uh, spouse and kids. But if you are single, you can do whatever you want. But remember, when they ask you for policy clearance record, if they ask you for the, uh, that one, now you said you live in Dubai, you need to have clearance record from Dubai, but also because you are from Ghana, you also need to have another clearance, police clearance record from Ghana. So we'll have two records. Rafaelo Murithi. I don't know that name must be, is it from Kenya? I don't know. If you have not subscribed to this channel, something is wrong with you. Thank you so much, Mr. Makolilo. <laughs> I don't know. I cannot add more. I agree with you. 
Like, why can't you just subscribe to this channel? There is something wrong with you. <laughs> Man, Murithi, you are a character, and I really appreciate that one. Yes, I'm trying my, uh, my best to make sure that this channel is very educative. Number one principle of this channel, we don't use cussing word. So it is a very safe channel. You can share the video, you can share the link about the channel, even you with your parents, your father, your mother. A parent, you can share this link to your daughter, to your son, to your nephew. You can do that without fearing, okay, this guy will be talking things off board, using bad language. I don't use bad language. That is not my style. That's number one. Secondly, we have so much information about immigration, about education, about weight loss, about writing books about how to succeed even from different work in your own country how to prepare for the interview how you can upload your books and put on amazon for free so this is the channel it has so much positives and ways on how we can be able to succeed so please subscribe right now in case you haven't done so so thank you so much rafaelo murithi uh electri electrica Hey, EBM, thanks for the information. Thank you so much to you. And thank you for taking your time to be here. And even just commenting, that means a lot to me. Okay, Emmanuel uh, Win jones I'm Tanzanian, Mambo VP. Yeah, I'm also, I don't know. I, I, the problem is I cannot say I'm Tanzanian. Yes, I'm Tanzanian by birth and national, like whatever, but Tanzania doesn't have dual citizenship. So once I decided to, make new salute and become a citizen in the U.S. so you lose that citizenship status. So coming back to Tanzania, you come back with the visa. But that you see my flag is over there. I'm proud to have that background from Tanzania. So we are together, man. Okay, so Emmanuel, uh, okay, you say I'm Tanzanian. What if I win lottery and I know no one in the United States? First of all, you know me. So don't say you do not know anyone. How do I go and start life there? You don't need to know anybody to start life. You are in Tanzania, for instance, you live your original place. Maybe you are from Mbeya or you are from Mwanza, and now you live in Dar es Salaam. How did you go to Dar es Salaam? For me, I went to Dar es Salaam from the start, like living there, because I got education to go to study at the University of Dar es Salaam. You live on campus. So there are different ways. Don't you assume you must go a place to start life because you must have a relative. Forget about those communal way of life. Like, I have to have a relative to go somewhere. You're in Dar es Salaam, you're in Tanzania. What if you get a job to go to, to work in Nairobi and to do not know any person in Nairobi? Find a way, whether you're going to, to stay in Airbnb, you're going to stay in a motel, you have to go online on his, uh, Facebook. Can I find any person to host me for one week? I'm brand new. People will be there to help you. So, there will be other ways on how you can start the life. But once you arrive here, you can find a job. If you win the Green Card Lottery, you have a pass to start a job from day one. Come here and start a job. There are so many jobs. As long as you are not so much picky, I must become bank manager. No, just come here. Start from here, law. Work from the restaurant. Work from warehouse. Work from wherever. Then after time, you can go up. Okay, let's go to Afu Opuku. Uh, sir, we are very grateful for all your clarification, but let me ask, please. Yeah, you are welcome to ask. How expensive is to educate three kids in the United States when you arrive as a green card holder? By God's grace. One question I can ask you, uh, Afu. Uh, what level of education are you talking about? Because from primary school, from elementary school, from kindergarten to high school, Public school in the United States of America is 100% free of charge. I have even interview I was having with my son. Uh, so in the U.S., there is no school fees. There is no payment of anything from primary school to high school. So if your child is under the age of 18, up to high school, will go for free. Then if you go to college, that means you have to apply for uh, scholarships, you have to apply for financial aid, get a loan, whatever. Those is a different story. But I'm sure you are talking about the children in lower level, things of that nature. Unless otherwise you want to take your children in a private school. But here, private school is different from the private school concept in our countries. In developing countries, most of the private school is because they are English medium school, international school, they are whatever, do have better education system. Here, number one, yes, private school have a little bit more better system, like fewer students. But the point is, Private school here is because of religion. Most of the private school, 
uh, out of 10, maybe 8 to 9 private school, there will be le uh, religious private school. So, for instance, a Catholic uh, church will have their own Catholic school just from they want to train people to pray you cannot go to public school and start to okay, put a sign of cross before whatever and start to, okay god and this and no you can't be able to do that here in the u.s because there are some people who don't believe anything you cannot just start like while we are studying in public school in tanzania we have religious classes muslim they go christian they go in another whatever no you cannot be able to do that so some people they want their children to be learning in school but also have some of those ones so if you go for the uh moravian they have their own church uh, lutheran can have their own methodist they have their own school catholic they own they have their own school so these are the things people consider so it's free from primary school or elementary school to high school mm -hmm. uh, i have problems with name on my birth certificate it doesn't tell you what should I do. So what you need if you win, you go to the court, you have the clarification to have the affidavit, a sworn affidavit to mean, okay, maybe they have spelling mistake on this one, but this will be the correct name of my name. Things of that nature. For this, I can give the example. In my family, we have different how we write the name Boniface because it's EBM, Ernest Boniface Makurilo. There are people put Boniface with P, H, things of that nature. And there are those who put F, A, C, E, Boniface. So for me, my original birth certificate is Boniface with P, H, F, A, whatever. But I prefer to go by Boniface with F, A, C, E. So I changed that way and I had the documentation even if my document is that way. So you need to have a sworn affidavit to change uh, those kind of things or to explain, okay, this person with this name, with this correct, incorrect spelling, is this person, is the same person. So you need to have a sworn affidavit from the court or from attorney in your country. Okay. Another question comes from Michael Yeboa. Okay, I'm in Dubai. Can I start a process there or I have to go back to my country in Ghana? As I said, you can do, if you win, you can do in Ghana, you can do in Dubai. They don't care. But what you have to know is, as I said, if you are from Ghana, you are married, you are, your wife is in Ghana, you have kids in Ghana, but you currently live in Dubai, you want to do the interview in Dubai, you, your relatives, your wife, and the kids must be in Dubai. They mu you must go all together at one sitting on the interview. That's what it works. So it's up to you whether you, you to bring the get them the visa and flight ticket to come to Dubai or you to travel just to go to the interview. So it's just up to you. You can choose whether whether you want to do in Dubai or in Ghana. Uh, Eugene, uh, okay, Lucy. Hello, sir. Can I explain what happened if you finish to fill this 260 after you have a born, newborn, newborn, born baby? How do I, what do you do? As I said, if the baby is born after filling the form, DS 260, there is no problem at all. You write it to the KCC, Kentucky. Uh, consular, they are the one in charge for the lottery. You ask them, say, I, I have a new baby, baby uh, and the, uh, the baby is born after I fill the DS-260. Can you unlock the DS-260 so that I can update my DS-260 to include the information about the new born baby? They will unlock, then you can add the information of your child. There is no problem at all. The problem is, is if you applied, you have a 10 years old child and you say you don't have a child. That is the problem. Uh, Sostenes, Sostin, uh, sir, I'm Sostin, I live in South Africa, but I'm original from DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. Okay, your question is, should I, if I win, should I uh, win the lottery? Will the U.S. Embassy need the police clearance for both countries, South Africa and DRC? Yes. If you have lived in South Africa for more than six months, they will require uh, police clearance in South Africa. And also because you are already from DR uh, DRC, 
obviously you have lived for more than six months in your country at one time of your life you have also to get the police clearance from your country or for origin democratic republic of congo drc the land of tp mazembe <laughs> okay thank you uh abziragi adam travel documents for refugees as i said i answered that question i'm not so sure if you will be allowed you'll be allowed to do that i'm not so sure i cannot confirm i've never seen someone won the lottery under the green uh refugee and came direct as a refugee with those documents yes it can be possible to come but the problem is uh from the current situation uh the refugee Doc, travel document is not allowed you cannot use a refugee document to apply for the green card lottery so obviously it will be difficult so i don't know i'm not so sure about that uh adam you are saying uh, actually i've chosen for the travel document other uh travel document option therefore i've to talk with the un if they say to me that i've passed the interview the u.s embassy will issue i don't know it might or might not but I'm sure it will not be a big deal. They might allow if you have the official documentation from UNHCR. Okay. Okay, let me go. Uh, Jacqueline, you say, thank you very much, sir, for the answers. I'm really appreciating I'm, I'm able to answer those your questions. Uh, Abdi Razig, uh, you say you are from Sudan. But right now, I'm living in India as a refugee. Therefore, I want to know if I can travel with a document which I am, which I am requesting from the U.S. Embassy here in Delhi or IOM. I'm not so sure about that. I don't want to give a definite answer for something I'm not so sure. Uh, Ofu uh, Opoku, uh, please, sir, may I also know if the forms to fill after the winning lottery will include attaching all educational and marriage certificate as well as others. You don't attach document on the DSC 260. You mentioned you got married on this or whatever. But after filling the DSC 260, few, like a few weeks or a month later, the KCC, they will ask you to submit the documents like birth certificate, passport marriage certificate they will ask those documents even before you go to the interview so you need to have those documents but you don't attach them they will, you send them through email they will ask them through email abu kari sofiano please if i win green card lottery and come to the us and they want to go to school would they demand to prove of my english proficiency example ilts not much because you are green card holder so that will be a little bit different you are already in the us and you are green card holder so a little bit certain things will change and it depends again if you if you uh it depends again if you uh, you are looking for scholarship or not. Some scholarship they will require regardless you are here, and especially if you have been here for a short time. So, okay, uh, Abukari, please. If I win green card lottery, okay, I've answered that one. Sorry. Okay, uh, Abukari, you gave you uh, Skype uh, information, uh, so no problem. I'll have that one. Uh, Slash the real Rwanda. You say I'm very happy to hear this. Uh, thank you so much. Kigali is one among the most beautiful cities in south of the Sahara region. I've never been to Egypt and all those North African countries, but for the south of the Sahara region, I can tell you for sure, Kigali is the most beautiful city. Very clean compared to any African country I've been. Yeah, so good job for that in the changing the culture on uh, throwing the trash, things of that nature. So I've been uh, in Kigali so many times, like three, four times now. Yeah, even this year I've been in Kigali in March and I've been in Kigali in June. Okay, uh, let's go to another question. Evangelist Welbeck uh, International uh, uh, NTI Ministries TV. EBM, EBM, yes, I'm here. 
You are great man, and my prayer, my prayer as and the God bless you with good health and good life. Thank you, and amen to that, and may God bless you too, uh, sir. Okay, Eunice Mwikali, God bless you, EBM. I just learned more things through you. Bless you, bless you, thank you. Uh, okay, and may God bless you. And as I said, I'm trying so hard to answer things which I know, and the things which I'm not so sure, I will tell you up front. It's not a scene to say, I do not know, or I'm not so sure on something, like the question about uh, how you can get the, what? Uh, the... Can you travel with the uh, refugee status? I do not know. I'm not so sure. So if I do not know, I will tell you up front. I do not know. I'm not expert. I'm not a uh, uh, immigration lawyer. But I answer things which I've been doing this for a long time. Okay. Brenda Akinyi. Hello. Hoping you are doing good. Thanks for the good job. My question is, what if you win and you don't have a host after winning the lottery? You don't need to have a host, but you need to have address in the U.S. Where are you going to stay? Whether you can just, if you have the money directly to host, to get an apartment, it's up to you. Because on the DS-260, they have the question, where are you going to stay? So that they can send you the, 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 the DV lottery form. So whether you are going to find a church, they tell you where you're going to stay. That means they will send you the whatever. Or if you go to get your apartment, it's up to you. So they don't care if you have the host or don't have the host. What they want, they want you the address where you'll be staying so that you can get the green card, the actual card. Because at the embassy, we are given the visa. When you come to US, they'll give you the actual card. I've been here, or I mean, now it is 61 minutes, so an hour. And now it is 7.42 a.m., in a few minutes, I'm sure my kids will be awake, and at that time, I have to go to prepare them breakfast. So once they get to wake up, I will stop and go and do that. Uh, for those who were up previously, I was up until like 2 a.m., three almost 3 a.m., doing one of the live. It was two and a half hours, almost three hours. So I went to sleep like a few, two, three hours. Then I'm back. I'm doing this one because it's weekend. Then from here, I make the breakfast for my kids, and then I might just take some nap. Okay, let me continue quick with these questions before they wake up. Okay, another question is uh, uh, from Ayura Kevin. Thank for your information. I'm glad, and thank you too for being here, commenting, and supportive. Uh, cartoon, you are saying, if uh, okay, just wait. Uh, if you create a video about Americans' job market, it helps for us uh, to have an aim. Uh, job market, yes, I can have uh, about... Okay, I'm writing job market or just simply like types of job to start. Because there are different on how you start a job as immigrant in the U.S., Versus someone who has been here. So I can make that video. So thank you for the suggestion. Okay, another question is uh, from Slash, uh, the real Rwanda, I'm sure from Rwanda. How can I get information written? How can I get in, uh, information uh, written? Thank you, sir. I don't know what information you are asking. Like the information which I'm talking about, like all these questions and answers, whatever. I don't know what you are talking about. So if you can be specific, if I can try to give you a link of certain document, if you want to know, I can be able to provide that one. Evangelist, uh, well, uh, well back. Uh, okay, EBA, my question is, is that if I make a mistake, if if a mistake was done in the passport number, in the DV lottery application, can I correct in my DS-260 two, two form? Yes, you can put that one. And when you go, you go to the interview, you have that explanation that I did a mistake. It is a very honest mistake. For instance, instead of the, for instance, putting one at the end, you put seven, but you are the same person. Yeah. Yeah. So that will be, yeah. Because it cannot be a mistake like all the numbers are different. Usually it can be one, two numbers make be a mistake. Those will be not a big deal. Muganzi Ivan Kangazi Kaganzi. Great work, brother. God will bless you. Thank you so much, Muganzi. May God bless you too. Abu Kari Safi Anu, your question is, please, if I'm married after applying for the DV lottery and it and it happened that I win, I will, I, will I be able to add my wife? Yes. 
before you fill the DST 260, you can be able to update. Because when you apply in this October, they don't expect that you are not going to get married, you are not going to have kids, you are not going to have education changing of status or someone who got married maybe someone passed away you can feel when you up, you can update the information on dsc 260 when you win okay aisha you say hi hi to you and you say Aisha, i would like to ask when is the next dv lottery remember each year the dv lottery is in the month of october from the first week of october until the first week of november so the next dv lottery will be october fe first week in the year 2020 so if i look on my calendar here quick in 2020 in the month of october sorry the month of october so probably uh the v lottery will start on either october 5th or october 6th on the month of october 2020 and it will go up to uh november 3rd of or november 4th of 2020 so that is the time you will be able to apply for the lottery but remember in order to apply for the lottery from this year and the only one you must have a passport number is a new requirement okay uh okay in tambue marie and if you, in case you didn't know marie is my wife's name but also my daughter faustina uh her middle name is marie so you say you are from DRO, I'm from DRC Congo, so you are from DRC Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo. As I said, I'm from Tanzania originally. You can see the beautiful flag over there at the end. And Tanzania, where my hometown is Kigoma, which is at the heart of Lake Tanganyika, the deepest lake in Africa and the second in the world. So, Kigoma is very close to Congo. You can see the mountains of Congo from my hometown. So... I know Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, very good. And I have, no, I have so many friends from DRC. Aisha Z, your question is, for some online lottery, if your country gets approved, first of all, there is no on any other lottery except the official green card lottery. All those are scam. Don't pay anybody. Those are not lottery. You are going to pay. You are going to be scammed. Uh, do we have to pay any general any fee, whatever? All those uh, credit cards, those are fake. All those are scams. There is one green card lottery. And I tell people, in order to know whether you are in the right lottery, the website has needed to have at the end .gov, .gov, which is the domain name of the government of the United States of America. And the only payment you pay at the U.S. Embassy cash don't pay anybody online on your oh, um, the agents. There is no agents. You see any website, they call you surface.org.net.com. Those are fake websites. There is no lottery online. Only the DV lottery, a government one, with the end of the website, it has to be .gov, .government. Okay, can my nurse degree prove my high school degree also? Yes, but that if you have a degree, you, you just that is a bachelor degree. Yes, high school is a minimum. If you have PhD, you put a PhD. So that is just a minimum. That doesn't mean like you must lie. Like, I'm high school, but you have a degree. No, you say you have a degree. Okay, then show John. Uh, hi, EBM. I'm from Sudan. My full name uh, is consists of four names and during the application i've added the two middle names as middle name is that problem no that is the correct way there are some people who have two middle names there are some people who have two last names and this is common most in latin america like people in brazil are uh, from uh like for instance brazil whatever mexico people have four or five names that is common for them so that is not a problem as long all those names they are in your passport they don't care. Tambu Marie said, please give us uh, at least two cooking videos per week. I've enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, the problem of cooking video, I have to get someone to record. So sometimes I, most of these videos I'm putting myself, I put a tripod and all other things. So sometimes it's very difficult. Uh, when I have, to cook, I might want to cook, the, make it cooking, but no one is around, maybe it's Claire around. So I don't want to give, 
clear, I mean, microphone, I mean, things to do. But from next year, I'll be having someone to assist me to take more professional videos. So maybe I'll be able to make more videos of that. Like even outdoor videos, someone to record me, whatever, instead of depending on working videos from my office. Okay, uh, another question is uh, from uh, ZK. Uh, Please, can someone with senior high school certificate apply Navy or uh, U.S. Army if you win the DVA lottery? Yes, you can. Because the minimum qualification to join the military is high school. So, you are okay. Uh, Table Cro Crovis. Oh, Crovis, Crovis. Which office is the first to go after finding out that I'm selected in the U.S. visa lottery? You don't need to go to any office. You won't. You fill the DSC 260 online. You don't go to any office. That's all. You do online process everything. Even if you go to the U.S. Embassy in your country, they will tell you go and fill the DSC 260 online. So you don't go to any office. The only time you go to the U.S. Embassy is during the interview. So there is no office you need to go. Okay. Uh, Abukari, you say, please, sir, if... I can create EBM family platform. Where can we, uh, where can where can I interact with you beside the YouTube? Uh, thank you. You can do it through, uh, you can just contact me through my WhatsApp number. I can quickly mention my number, but don't call, don't call. If you call, usually I might get upset and I might end up blocking people. Again, my number is plus one. 619-228-4381. 1-619-228-4381. Don't beep, don't call. Send WhatsApp message. And don't text, send the normal text message. If you send a normal text message, I get charged as international text message. So just WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, Afu Apoku is asking a question. Uh, May the God bless you, your hard work for all of us here and give you more insight to be able to educate us more and the issues we lack knowledge about it, sir. So thank you so much. And I would like to, I would like to ask you to continue being part of the EBM and to continue being uh, here to be able to be supportive, uh, things of that nature. So I really appreciate it. Uh, Abrazi, uh, thank you so much uh, for clarification. May God reward you and your effort. Please don't forget to add me on your Skype. Um, you, you, you gave you a Skype name. Uh, I'll try. I'm not using much of... The, nowadays, much of the, most of the Skype is for my work. I don't use in a normal way, normal Skype, like chatting. Yeah, that's why I can give the number WhatsApp. I can use the WhatsApp than Skype. Susan Ruo, God bless you more, EBM. You are one of the kind. May God bless you too. Thank you so much. Aisha, can a housewife apply for the DV lottery and then sponsor her family? Yes, it doesn't matter whether you are a housewife. You can apply for the lottery. If you win, you come. Sponsor your family. By family, let me give you the concept. In the US, family is you. If you win, you are married, you can come with your husband right away. If you have kids, you come right away with your kids. But if you come in the US, if you are a U.S. citizen, you can apply for your parents. They can also come to America get a green card. But as parents of U.S. citizens, they will get within one year, in most cases, to come to America as a green card holder. You cannot just, just sponsor your nephew, sponsor your whatever other relative. So because the concept of family in developing countries where we come is more extended family. Here is more nuclear family. Okay, Susan, God bless you. Uh, okay, sorry, I've already uh, read that one. Uh, Table Crofts, you ask, what if I discover that I'm a winner, then I hurry up and marry someone in order to make them beneficiary? After traveling, would you be able, would you be denied the visa interview? No, you, as long as you get married before the filling the DST 260, you are okay. But you have to prove that you got married not because it's, you, someone paid you to make a fraud that I will come with you in America. After being there, you can divorce, I can continue with my life. No, you have to marry someone on legitimate basis that is your wife. 
then you can come together. It's okay. Uh, Frubet uh, Kimeng. Hi, EBM. I played the lottery with my stepson and my children. Will my stepson have the visa uh, even though my name is not in the birth certificate? Yeah, there is no problem at all. If your stepson is there, you can come together and it is written here. As you can see on the instruction, you ask the correct question about children. So you must list all your living children who are unmarried under the age of 21. And among children, your spouse's children are included. You are natural born, you are stepchildren. Even if you are not you are now divorced, whatever, you can put all those children, adopted children, you can put them there. So, yes, you can you, and if you your stepson, your stepdaughter doesn't need to have your name, you can have the name of the wife or the name of the other person, the other father, no problem. But as long as you is going to say this is my stepfather, you can come with that child together. And you cannot be denied the visa. Okay, uh, another question is from uh, Tambu Marie again. I'm happy that uh, my in-law, your wife, is also Marie. Yes, uh, my wife is Marie and also uh, Faustina, my daughter. That's what I say. Uh, letters to my unborn daughter, Faustina Marie, as you can see. I don't know. You see the names here on the blue. Uh, that is my, uh, my name of my, uh, my daughter, Faustina Marie. Okay, uh... Of who you ask uh, another question. Uh, sir, can you make another educational video on choice of resident, especially to new green card holders, uh, so we don't end up being uh, in state with high cost of living? I have already one video. Uh, if you go on my YouTube channel, then you can see a playlist. On the playlist, there is a playlist which is written... Uh, uh, American life, uh, American life, and the <clears throat> American life and the success. One of the video is cost of living in America, purchasing a home, uh, purchasing a home. So I have here. Uh, I'm going to put the cost of living in America. So where can you live? Like I explained, why I lived in California. Uh, cost of living in usa which are affordable states sorry to live so there is that video about that one but i have another video which is about purchasing a home which will be able which also discusses uh uh where can you be uh, purchasing a home in America? This will help because we are also talking about the home in you in one state versus the home in another state, cost of living, and all those kind of things. How do they determine one place you can be able to be there and be able to afford from one state to another state? Okay, sure, John, you say, thank you, brother. I have got the answer. May God bless you with, with what you do. So thank you, too. Okay, Paul Coffee Savi, please, sir, if I win the lottery, can uh, can I let my wife to wait for me when I go there later? I bring, yes, but the, if you first thing, both of you must get a visa at the same time. You have to go to the interview at the same time. You can come here, but the visa expires after six months. If she doesn't come here within six months, the green card will be revoked, her green card. But you can come together here, Get she can get a green card, and then go back there, and for you can be working together alone, and then after maybe six months more or a year, can come back. But after getting the actual card, you must be in the US within six months. Okay. Uh, Tebo, your question, I indicated that I have a bachelor degree, but my school have closed as a result of this crisis in Cameroon. After winning, would I be rejected for not having edu uh, uh, evidence to prove my education uh, right? No, not really, but remember, we are talking about the DV 2021, so probably your interview results so will be coming like, you can get the transcript. Until that time, obviously, you will have that one. 
and if you have in crisis, your school is closed. There is a way you can have, you can prove, like you can show even student ID back then. There are other things you can prove that you are a student. Yeah. And some of the schools that you can download the results from internet, from their website. You can create your account. So I don't know about your university. So there are different ways you can get. And you are not talking like you are going today, school is closed today. Don't worry because you are talking about 2021. Is your school, university completely closed forever? Or will be open? So, and they know the situation. So there are other ways to prove about education wise. Okay. Uh, Aisha, you are saying thank you for the answers. You are so welcome. Uh, Susan, your question. Some people think uh, this whole thing about green card is free. Uh, tell them it will cost them a lot of dollars to process, to process. then tickets, money. Uh, in short, it will be costly but worth it. Yes, it is true. It is, it is a free application. But after winning, yes, you have to get the visa. You cannot just come, get into the flight for free. They don't give you free ticket. Yes, you have to start the life. So it will cost you, but it is worth it at all. Because even if you have good life in Africa or in Asia, but it will be good for you, even for you if you want to visit later, you can come here, get your green card, be leaving your country and come here for vacation. Your kids grow up, they can come here and study here. So it is worth it no matter whether you want to live here or whether you don't want to live here. Off you say thank you. Uh, Opoku you say, sir, please. Uh, please, is there any deadline date for checking uh, of the D, uh, DV lot in 2021? Uh, and what is the best time to check the results when they are out? So the results will be out in May 2020, May 5, May 5, 2020. From that day, you can check the results any day. I advise people try to check the results within that month so that you can be able to fill the form as soon as possible. Because if you win, you need to find someone uh, address in the U.S. unless others you have right away to fill the form. So you can check the result within the same year. That's why they, you can check the result from that May. June, July, September, October, the next year. But don't wait too long because if your number is maybe 500 is a case number, you are, you'll be starting processing your number quicker. So make sure that it's first come, first saved basis. So make sure that you feel as soon as possible after checking the results. Saeed Taibatu, uh, you say, thank you so much, Sami. Allah bless you abundantly. So thank you too. Thank you for being here and be able to answer, uh, to ask questions and the appreciating what I'm doing. So another question is from Paul. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Uh, good work. Yes, thank you so much. Please, sir. I and my wife. I and my wife will. Uh, will uh, I don't know. There is a cut word, but when we win, so. You and your wife obviously will come together if you win. Either one of you wins, you come together. That's the advantage of applying as uh, people who are spouses. If your wife wins, comes together with the husband. If the husband wins, come together with the wife. G. Hams, you are doing a uh, tremendous job. Thank you. I applied the DV lottery for the first time. Pray for me to win. God bless you. God bless you too. And May God bless you and being among the winners of the DV 2021. I've known many people who have won the lottery for the first time. There are people who win the first time. There are people they don't win even for 10 times. So it happens. Leticia Comba, whoa, good job, Baba Claire. Asante Sana. Thank you so much, Comba. Leticia, I really appreciate it. Uh, other question, are there website to get job offers overseas? Uh, that is a little bit tough and I have a video explaining uh, how difficult it is uh, because you cannot just get jobs from coming to work in the US while you are from other countries. So there are videos here about life in the US uh, why you cannot be able to get a job because you need to, uh, to do that. So I prefer to end up here right now. It is 8 or 5 a.m. in my country. Uh, my daughter is awake. My wife texted me here. I got the message. Claire is awake. So I have to go to change her. I have to create breakfast for her. So I don't want to interfere here. So thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. In case I haven't answered your question, I'm so sorry for that. Let me end up here. 
and I'll keep being live on another time and answer your question. Again, I really appreciate for everyone who has been online here, uh, being all this time to be along, ask your question, appreciating uh, the time. So that makes me a little bit more uh, energetic to be able to answer your question. So I really appreciate it, but remember to take the link of this uh, live. It will be posted there, processed, then you can share to your group, on WhatsApp, Facebook, and everybody. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for your time, and let me end up here. That means a lot, okay? Do grass to say, uh, thank you, Baba Claire, Asante Sana, thank you. Your number again, my number is plus, start with a plus sign, because it's an international number, 1619-228-4381. Thank you, thank you. Let me end up here now.